If we take the working file access manual transparency, you'll find we have our access manual that we've seen a number of times, but with a little image in here that has been inserted, which is a DVD cover of the training. Now I want to manipulate this image to some degree. I want to format it a little bit better. So I select the image, format, picture effects, and I'm going to add a drop shadow. Now that drop shadow, unfortunately, is added to the rectangle that contains the image, which is not quite the effect I was after. I wanted this drop shadow to be on the actual DVD case. Now in order to do that, I would need to actually make this white area transparent so that Word sees the only elements of the picture is the DVD case. So let's undo that drop shadow and go to remove background. Now, if I choose remove background, you'll see I get a completely different ribbon at the top here, background removal. And within my image, I need to define the area I want to be removed. Now, this internal rectangle that can be resized is effectively the area that you need protecting. So I need to make sure that everything I want is encompassed in that rectangle, even if that rectangle then includes some of the transparent area. I make sure that I can see the whole DVD case within there. Mark areas to keep is this area here, because it's trying to wipe out part of the DVD case. You can see how it's made the left hand side there a bit transparent. I'm just making sure it doesn't wipe that out. Also the screen there is going to be transparent, as is the word DVD. I think that's everything was a little bit purple there. So I'm happy once I've marked the areas I want to keep. The pink area is what will go transparent, so that's ideal. Oh, there's a little bit area there. Part of the top logo. So making sure the only pink really that is left is the bit that I want to disappear. Then I do keep changes. That then applies the changes, and I will now find that this white area, although it looks white to me, is actually now transparent. So that when I go to the picture effects shadow, drop shadow, the drop shadow is added to the DVD case, not to the rectangle containing the DVD case. If I go back into those picture effects shadow, and shadow options. That will give me the shadow options dialog box here on the right, allow me to push a larger drop shadow out so I can see the effect. Let's make it slightly darker as well. So increase the transparency, the size, the blur, the angle, and the distance away from, in this case, the DVD case. Once I've finished with the formatting there, I can close that. I now have a transparent background DVD case so that my shadow is added to the internal image. Now that's quite a common thing to want to be able to do where you have an item sat on a white background, but it's still part of the image or it's been treated as part of the image until you tell Word that that bit of the image is actually transparent and we can then do things with it. Because if I now move this wrapping so it's in front of text, move it across you can see i can see the text right up to the dvd case all the way around whereas previously it would have only gone to the edge of the rectangle let's undo to change that back to where it was with the same wrapping so that's dealing with the background and making the background transparent